Oh my God, look at all this texture and movement. I love it. This is, wow. Hey guys, welcome back to Give Your Hair a Kiss. I'm Kiss and this is the wolf cut. Yeah, I know. It's trending everywhere you go. Everybody's got the wolf cut and you want it too, don't you? Yes, you do, so let's do it. If you're new here, hey, hi, hit subscribe. I'm here for you every Tuesday with my own brand of beauty nonsense. So if you're liking what you're seeing, give me a kiss, give me a like, share it with all your friends, subscribe, stay tuned. Let's get into this cut. So the wolf cut is somewhere between a shag and a mullet and it's kind of 70s and it's kind of 80s and it's very textury and it's fun. It's a fun cut. Um, and I've been watching a lot of other videos on it on um, just quick five minute wolf cut. So I kind of want to try that because it's not the way I would do it in my, in my head as a professional. Um, but for you at home, this is the easy way to do it. So what do we need first and foremost? We're going to need two rubber bands. I'm going with some friction free guys. We need a cutting comb. You're probably going to need a hairbrush. I know I did. I had to get through this girl. <laughs> and of course, our shears. So we're going to start with sectioning. We're going to go in two big sections here. Let's grab our cutting comb. And this section is going to go from the crown to right in front of the ear. Okay, we're going to do that. We're gonna comb all that forward. Do, 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 do. Great. Let's get that back. And I'm gonna work on dry hair for this because we're cutting with texture. Comb that forward. Same thing, other side. Here at the crown. And when I'm sectioning, I'm just kinda like, I put my finger where I want it, boom, draw a straight line with the comb. So I'm going to put my finger right in front of the ear and draw a line. Boom. Section. Done. Okay. Take all that forward. So we're looking for a nice, neat ponytail. So let's do that. Calm it all forward. So I'll show a good time to make sure your sections are even. But then again, it's a shaggy cut, so as long as you're over directing, over directing means boop, pull it, over direct it away, preserve the length. We are preserving length with this cut. Okay, first ponytail. I've got it right on the forehead. Great. Second ponytail. You know what? If she were my client, I would take her. I would just be like, yo, all the way forward. So this second section, we are gonna bring everything can you stay on here, please? Okay. And bring everything straight up. Can you just, can you be out of my way? Thank you. bring that second ponytail right on the crown. Straight up. Great. Awesome. So, let's get to snipping. 
and grab my flat cutting comb and my shears. I'm gonna take this front section down the forehead and I'm gonna decide kind of where I want my shorted length. Mind you, it's in a ponytail, so that shorted length is gonna be a smidge longer. So I'm thinking like right here, right at eye level is where I'm gonna land this shortest length. And I'm gonna point cut into that. But let's talk about point cutting real quick. So I'm gonna go in, and when we point cut, we're either going in on a diagonal point or on a straight point. This is cutting with texture and taking length. This is adding texture and taking weight. So we're gonna go in diagonally on this section, okay? And I'm just making kind of these little triangles. See what I mean? Triangles. Okay, there goes our length. Now we've got this big heavy thing sitting here. So let's, let's take her up. Now we're gonna go down. We're gonna do texture. We're gonna take weight. And I'm cutting kind of deep. I'm cutting like a full inch into the hair. If you wanna be a little more meticulous, and I do, I can take this section and split it. I'm gonna work with this first. Point cut. Straight down. How do you know when you've taken enough? This section of hair should kind of feel like your makeup brush. It should be soft. It should be weightless, like your makeup brush. Now we're gonna go into this back section, okay? We're gonna take this, well, you're probably sitting in the mirror straight away, so. We're gonna take this guy. I'm gonna take all this, all this off. Again, I'm going in on a diagonal first. Create those little points, those little triangles. Okay. Come it back up. I've got about an inch in here to work with. Straight down, straight down texture. Yes. Fan it out.
Okay, moment of truth. Now we're gonna take the bands out. Okay, look at these fun layers. That's so bouncy, it's so textury. This is, check this, this is fun. Okay, let's do the front. Oh my, that's wolfy. That is wolfy. Now, now, if this were my, my client or my hair, yes, I would go back in. I'm gonna clean up these ends, because you see some stuff just stayed a little, oh, a little straggly here at the bottom. So I'm gonna take care of that. I'm also gonna take care of this little bit of weight that I'm not in love with right up front, okay? How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna take this in on a diagonal. I'm gonna point cut that angle. I'm gonna go back to this section right in front of the ear. Same thing, you just bring it forward. I'm just gonna take these guys. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna lightly grab anything I don't like. Again, point cutting. Connected. I'm going to do the same thing this side. Cleaning up those angles right around the face. That, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, the wolf gut. <laughs> I, I just, I think I need to style her up real quick. Hang on. Okay, so there she is. All styled up, low, all the texture. All I did was go in, do some flat iron twists. You can go into this cut with a little bit of pomade. If you want to give it some texture, you know, you can texturize those ends out. can texturize those bangs out, give it a little bit of direction, make it a little piecey if you wanted to. That's the pomade approach. You can also go on in with your dry shampoo, 
right at the root. You can give it that texture. You can just let this be for a couple days. Uh, body texture, love it. For my money, I will uh, probably tease this whole sucker up in hairspray, very Nikki Six style. I like a big mane of a wolfy shag. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next Tuesday. Until then, you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, to give your hair a kiss. Part of the squealing of my radiator right now. Check out my website for products and exclusive offers, giveyourhairakiss.com. While you're there and find yourself in the New York City area, you can book your appointment for the kissing booth with me, Kiss. Yes, we are a independently owned, fully licensed, full for full service salon. All right, say goodbye. Bye. Until next Tuesday, guys, give your hair a kiss.